Hatikva is such a sad melody, but such an uplifting message. And I think that juxtaposition is very powerful. It embodies the sorrow of not having a homeland and the diaspora with the hope and the strength that carried us through 40 years in the desert and the Holocaust with our beliefs and our hopes and the soul of the Jewish people intact. And I think that positive message of hope is something very important to think about on the anniversary of the independence of Israel. And I think it's so important because a lot of people in Israel and in America and around the world really have a sense of despair when it comes to the conflict in the Middle East and they look at the conflict as being intractable. And we really need to focus on the positive efforts that are going on and the constructive communication, not only with our neighbors in the Middle East, but also with our allies in the international arena because despair doesn't get us anywhere. And looking towards the future, I, my hopes for the Jewish people and for Israel are intertwined, but my hope is that we have security not at the cost of our humanity. And what I mean by that is um, I'm Israeli, I was born in Ashkelon, and I went back in 2001 and I couldn't go visit Ashkelon because there was too much violence there. And I was back there last year with my boyfriend Yaron, who's also Israeli, and we got to go back for the first time since I was a baby and I got to see the house where my parents lived when I was born and we got to walk around and the streets were basically deserted. There was nobody there because they get a lot of rockets from Gaza. And now every day in the news you hear about the violence there. And I felt very blessed to be able to go back as an adult, but I also would like my children and my grandchildren to be able to go anywhere in Israel and have security. And I think the only way 